In this video review of Loophole Link by Brenson Tay on the WordPress platform, I will show you the truth behind the sales page so you can stop buying shiny objects and stop wasting your hard earned money on this type of product. I will be showing you the members area and share what's inside this product so you can see exactly what you're getting. I will also include all the OTOs and upgrades as well as the total cost. I bought a copy of this product to try out myself and I want to explain to you in details why products like Loophole Link are time wasters for new affiliate marketers and may not be the solution to making money online that you're looking for. This review of Loophole Link is based on my personal experience and opinion only and I want to share my experience for you to make a wise buying decision as to whether or not you should buy loophole link. Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Serge and on this channel I give out tips and do reviews about products so you know which are legit or useless to new marketers for making money online. If you're trying to make money online as a new field marketer, then I have some honest and free practical free training in the link in the description below. This training is incredibly detailed and will save you thousands of dollars in building an evergreen business online which brings in traffic, leads, and sales. So go ahead and click on the link below. You won't regret it. This training is 100% free, 100% beginner friendly, and 100% awesome. And you're going to love it. Trust me, it's a no-brainer. So what is Loophole Link? So no matter what you're seeing or reading on the sales page, in a nutshell, Loophole Link is about scraping the internet and taking sources from various places to create a free ebook and market it to online marketplaces. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. So here we are taking a look at the dashboard here. And as you can see on the left, you have a bunch of categories here, which are options where you get to create a free ebook as well as a funnel for your ebook. So if I click on here on my ebooks, you will see that you can actually create an ebook. I've already created one here called How to Be a Digital Nomad and as well as a bunch of uh, squeeze pages for your funnel. We are going to talk about that a little bit later. But first, let's go back to the dashboard. And on the dashboard, we have a tutorial which explains to you what loophole links about. And if you go a little bit further down, you will see a tutorial option here. When you click on it, you get a lot of bunch of tutorials. You get like one, two, three, four tutorials that tells you how to use this product the way it's intended to use. Now let's go and try to create a campaign. Let's click on create campaign. And we're going to create a new campaign. Let's talk, let's call this campaign uh, new campaign. All right. So click on submit. And we have option here to create an ebook first or create a funnel first. Let's go ahead and create the ebook first. And now we are in the create ebook section. So now we have to pick a content source. And it says the main topic users generate keywords to get better. So we have to pick at least four keywords here. So since we in the make money online niche affiliate marketing, let's pick those keywords. So let's pick a affiliate marketing. Okay, but uh, make money online. Let's put what else? Let's put let's put digital nomad and work from home. All right, so. Here we got our four keywords here. And next we have to select a content source. Right now it gives us these on articles. And if we click 
on the arrow below you get to pick from YouTube transcripts or library and Google blogs well, let's keep it to eZine articles and see what we get here so click next now we have to create the formatting so specific articles counts how many articles do I want let's say I want three three articles let's see select images and add add to your ebook let's put let's put digital nomad let's do a search for that and see what we have okay so we have a couple of pictures here I'm gonna pick this one since I pick what three three articles all right let's pick three pictures let's pick this one and Let's go for this one. Okay. All right. So include a new image every how many pages? Let's say every one page. Let's include a new image. All right. So we'll click on next. So cover page. Okay. Ebook title. Let's pick digital nomad. Just just that. Author's name. Let's put my name. Search see image let's see digital nomad let's do a search and let's see let's pick a whole uh a whole different picture that we haven't seen yet all right uh i like this one let's pick this one and let's click on next okay let's say hyperlink enter keyword case and target url okay let's Let's pick a word. Let's put uh, digital nomad. And for the URL, let's pick YouTube. So if I go to YouTube, let's go on YouTube. And let me insert the YouTube link here. Let's go paste the link. And let's click on next. Say footer link. Uh, let's also keep it as YouTube. Click on that. Let's see background black front color white let's take the let's put the background let's put it red let's do a red just in case so you can see how it is add table content page and mission resource at the last page all right let's click on those all right let's click on generate and it says the ebook is being created please allow five minutes and we'll be ready all right so let's move on to something else all right so is the ebooks this is the first ebook I created? Let's wait for our next ebook because I because we call it Nomad. Let's click on something else. So let's click on loophole campaigns. Right here loop, on loophole campaigns, it shows you all the campaigns I created. And next, let's see, click on submit campaign. And here in submit campaign, this is where you get to submit your campaigns once you have your campaign already set up. Now, some of the options you have here is Kindle Direct Publishing from Amazon, Payhip, Gunroad, and a bunch of others here. Now, there's gonna be an issue here if with uh, Amazon Kindle Publishing. If you're familiar with Amazon and trying to publish an ebook, there are certain aspects of it that you must be aware of, especially when you're trying to uh, find the right keyword for your ebook to show up in Amazon, which there's no training about this whatsoever. But before publishing your ebook, how about we take a look about how does our ebook look like first? So let's go and check out my ebooks and see what the ebook looked like. Now here's our ebook, Digital Nomad, that we created. And to the right of it, it has view. So let's click on that and let's take a look at what it looks like. So here's the picture I picked, Digital Nomad by Search. Okay, here's a table of contents. And three sources how to start a fit marketing business 12 step how does to make money as a fit marketer 14 steps how to learn marketing 10 steps with pictures all right let's take a look all right so here's the picture i picked here's the ebook okay as you can see this thing's probably need a little formatting here now is the concern i have about this ebook here okay my question is about where did i get the content to create this ebook for me okay because that's something i should know where is it creating the content okay so let's pick 
uh, let's try this. Let's highlight this and then go to Google to see where this content is coming from. Okay, copy. Let's go to Google. All right, try it one more time. And let's see where this content came from. Paste. Let's see. And bingo, I actually found the article where it's great from. If I scroll down here and I basically go back to that, uh, my ebook, see I copy, let's copy this again, what's highlighted, and let's go do a search here, let me paste. There it is, word for word. Everything that's in that ebook, word for word. Okay, and that was on WikiHow. This is where I script the article from. If let's say if I did the same thing for uh, this part of the article, of the this part of the ebook as well, right? So let's go ahead and select. Just let's pick some different. Let's pick this part. All right, I'm going to copy this one, and let's see where to get this source from this one and there it is okay another article from Mickey how exact word for word word for word okay and there it is and this is the loophole to loophole link to to basically uh, take other people's content and create an ebook out of it now let's go back to the ebook remember what I put a the, the word for it to be linked, I think it was Digital Nomad. I don't see that word at all in this article beside the title. But beside that, see, there's only one of one here. But there's no other word here in the article where I put for it to be hyperlink, right? To bring to the YouTube. So how is this thing uh, giving the option to uh, hyperlink one word so that you could bring to to YouTube or the link I, I chose. So you don't see the option at all here. Okay, I don't see that word at all here. And here actually this is the references are the exact uh, articles that I pulled from WikiHow right here. If you click on them, it will take you exactly to the WikiHow articles. Now, do you realize that you cannot take somebody else's article even from WikiHow, scrape it, and then use that article as your own because that's called copyright infringement. So you're gonna have to edit all this article here, right? All the words, all the sentences, the paragraph, and create a whole new ebook with your own words. Now you can use the, these articles that will scrape as a reference. However, you cannot take somebody else's work. You cannot take these articles from WikiHow, and then use these articles as your own, and then create an ebook out of it, and then post it on. Uh, any kind of like uh, uh, sources to market because that would be copyright infringement if you did that. So what's the point of using this product if you have to start the ebook from scratch anyway? I mean, you don't want your work to be plagiarized work, right? Because people can actually see if their product or their content is being plagiarized and you can get in trouble for that. So what is the point of using loophole link the loophole and stealing somebody else's content plagiarized by his content and create your own ebook when you have to format it all over so you can have your own product your own ebook word for word that's not plagiarized or has any kind of copyright infringement against it that is a big area of concern uh, using this product now let's move on and go ahead and try to create a funnel for our ebook. So let's create, click on create a funnel, and here's the funnel templates here. Now let's pick one of the squeeze pages. Let's click on the squeeze page money, use this template, and here you can see our squeeze page, like our landing page, and you could format it. You got your name, your email, get your ebook, all right, subscribe button. All right, let's click on next, and now this is the thank you page. Okay, as you can see, the thank you page 
is linked to the loophole link app. Okay. All right. So let's, let's say we format it, leave it as it is. Thank you for your subscription, for your subscription, and then click on next. Okay. Now we have to basically uh, name our funnel. Let's call it Nomad Funnel. Okay. The title of our squeeze page is Digital Nomad Opt In. Okay. Squeeze page JavaScript code. This is for if you have a squeeze page and you want to add uh, the code to it, you could do it here. But for this for this uh, example, we're just gonna skip that. Let's go to the thank you page title. Keep it this thank you page. Uh, thank you page JavaScript code. All right, we're gonna skip that. Uh, form code, and let's say use link instead of thank you page. Uh, okay, we're just gonna keep it as this. If we add a link to our like affiliate uh, the affiliate offer, we'll click on that and then put the link to the affiliate offer here. But instead of doing that, we are just gonna go and click the funnel. Let's create the funnel. Let's click on create funnel. And here's the nomad funnel. So it says no campaign. All right, let's see. Assign to a campaign. Let's assign this to a campaign. All right, select campaign. Uh, where did all this? Where are all these campaigns come from? That's interesting because none of these are made for me. So I'm not sure if this is from all the beta testers or other affiliate marketers who created these. However, I should not be seeing these. Actually, let's go back and look at the campaign we created. Let's just find out what the name of it. Okay, so the campaign we created was called New Campaign. So let's go back to our funnel. And go ahead and attach our. So let's go find to let's go to new campaign. Let's try to find it. Go down to the ends. Right. G. The M's. All right. So let's go up. New campaign. That should be our campaign here. Click on save changes. All right. So this is our new campaign successfully assigned and let's see and that's it now if we click on this I'm looking at a new campaign okay let's look at all right this is going to be our opt-in page okay and then we have our thank you page right here okay so as you can see both our opt-in page, right, and thank you page are both assigned to loophole link. Now, here's the thing. Let's say I let's say I add my name here. Search, right? Now, put my email, buddy savvy. Okay. If you guys were paying attention, all right, let me fix this real quick. Right? Where, where exactly is the email being captured at? Because as I was setting this up, I did not see any place where I would need to um, attach my email responder to it. So I just add my email and and I got the I got the ebook, but where is the email where's the lead where's the email because i don't see any email here where's the email I just inputted so i'll be able to add that email to my email list right i don't see that and that's a more important feature to anything that has an opt-in page to it because the point of the opt-in page is to have somebody's email and add to email list. This, yeah, this is a big issue here. I see when it came to creating the campaign because this is definitely a product which is not um, is not good for new field marketers. I don't see this as a good viable product for new field marketers. Now, if you really want to create an ebook 
and market that ebook to a landing page well there's three sources i'm going to recommend for you and the first source is canva canva is a free source a free software or web web page where you can create anything you want okay and i use this quite a lot for my presentations uh my thumbnails yeah it's pretty it's pretty cool so if you want to create an ebook you can go on here and type in ebook and what it does is give you an option like say ebook cover you click on that and what will show up is basically a bunch of templates of the type of ebook that you can create right so you pick one of these covers and from there you can actually start publishing i mean actually create a better looking ebook than what you get on loophole links Another source is Fiverr. Fiverr is a website to outsource anywhere to a freelancer. And here you can have your ebook be professionally designed by a freelancer for pretty much at any price. All you gotta do is find a price that fits your budget and anyone will basically design your ebook the way you want it to. It will be way better looking than what you're getting over at Loophole Link. Now, when you if you want to create a landing page, then I would recommend to go to Aweber. Okay, that's that's also a free source that you can use in the beginning. That if you want need to create a landing page and a thank you page, Aweber is a pretty good source where you can actually create that landing page, add your free ebook to it, and go ahead and market that free ebook. Okay, so these are the three sources I recommend if you really need something better than loophole link to market. A free a free ebook to give you a sample of what you're gonna get when you use canva Fiverr and Aweber so here's a sample of a product of an ebook that I had created uh, using canva and Fiverr now promote through Aweber of a product that I used to promote and if you can as you can see this ebook is pretty is pretty elegant professionally done very well organized and easily to and easy to read so this is what you're gonna get if you actually use those resources which I provide to you in this video. Now another option to give you beside the marketplaces is to actually attach your Twitter account, Instapaper, Fault, and WordPress. Now I highly, don't, I highly do not recommend that you do that because one is do you have a following on either one of these uh, Pro, uh, social media except for WordPress which is not social media but do you have a follow on Twitter where you're able to send your ebook to and market that to your to certain people that actually are in that niche that you're in okay most people do not have that and if you're a new marketer I doubt you even have that at all so I would not recommend that you actually put your uh, social media information on there to, to set up to set up to loophole link. Now another feature is the extra traffic. What extra traffic is is where you can actually go and find a keyword. Let's say I pick uh, money, it's just a simple word, and then what it's going to do is it's going to search the internet and find articles or website where I can actually go and make a comment and submit my affiliate link or my ebook link my campaign to that website so let's see what comes up here once i put the keyword money and what articles show up for that okay still taking quite some time here maybe uh, something's wrong so let's move on to the next thing or matter of fact let me try a different word yeah now i've tried a different word and it's still not showing any article whatsoever so search, okay, now it says search complete. Okay, so let's click on on these ads. Let's see. Let's see one of these blogs. And there's a blog, case writing competition. When I have no idea what this has to do with money or a nomad, but here, right here, you could leave a comment here and actually attach your affiliate link or your ebook link campaign to this to this uh, blog. But this actually kind of explains to me why I always read something and in the comments there's something that somebody posts that has, has nothing to do with the blog. So basically it's just spamming. So I don't know how okay you are with going to 
random blobs and go ahead and just pull them up so this is not working all right let's pick a different one okay that's the power of giving together all right let's just pick this one all right and then go to the blog and then go find go down to the comment section and then go and then post a a random uh, comment right and put see no comment leave a comment let's see leave a comment so, all right yeah so go ahead and put your inf some information down there and go ahead and keep spamming them because to me this is not relevant to uh getting you traffic or helping you making money in line or getting or getting noticed right because nobody really know who you are for them to go ahead and click on your link to know exactly what you're to be interested in whatever you're offering so this is totally a waste of time for the marketers now let's move on to all the upgrades and all the otos and how much do they all cost first we have the front end product loophole link at 17 dollars or you can get that discount price of 13 dollars next we have loophole link unlimited for the price of 47 dollars or you can get that at a discount price of $37. Next is OTO number two, which is the done for you at $197. Or you can get the done for you at discount price of $97. Next is OTO number three, which is the monetization at $97. Or you can get that at a discount price of $47. Next is OTO number four, which is limitless traffic at $167. Or you can get that at a discount price of $67. Next is OTO number 5, which is the Franchise Partner License at $497. Or you can pass that $497 and get it at a discount price of $97. Next is the Missing Piece at $97. Or you can get that at a discount price of $47. At last, we have the $1,000 traffic booster at $26. Or you can get the $1,000 traffic booster at discount price of $22.95. Altogether, if you went to buy all these OTOs, you're looking at a price between $427.95 on the low end and $1,100. And forty-five dollars and ninety-five cents on the high end. So, what's my final opinion about Loophole Link? Well, as I said earlier, I don't think this product is going to help you make money online. Okay, so because it's helping you create an ebook, which all the contents are scraped from other sources, and it's literally using the same content word for word right and they're pretty much plagiarizing and as well possibly copyright infringement the other issue that loop polling had is when you create a funnel on your opt-in page when you type in your name and your email address there is no auto responder to capture that lead to capture that email so everything is wired back to loophole link to the host loophole link which can be shut down anytime. So you're not capturing any leads here to add to your autoresponder to be able to broadcast to in the later date. So you're not creating a buyer's list to be able to broadcast to at a later date. So this is a really big issue here I see with loophole link. As well as there is no GR compliancy here for someone to click on the GR compliance. So before they consent, to give you their information. And where is that information capture that? Because there is no option to hook, to link your autoresponder to this software. All in all, I will say that this product is worthless and any new marketer who is serious about making money should definitely avoid this product if you don't want any kind of frustration because this product is not going to help you make money online or help you create a uh, evergreen business so you can be successful. So totally avoid this product, do not buy it because it's completely worthless. 
If you want an alternative to this product, then I recommend Canva to create your ebook. This is a great software and it's free. If you want your ebook to be professionally look to be looked professionally, then go ahead on Fiber, and you can have your ebook outsourced to be professionally done. It depends on your budget here. You can find one for very cheap. And if you want to create a landing page, you could use Aweber and create a beautiful landing page. Add the link to your ebook to Aweber and market that so you can actually capture any leads that will click on your link. Okay. So this is the three sources that I recommend if you're serious about uh, using an ebook and as a better alternative to loophole link. As you all can see, I have been very detailed in this review of loophole link. And I want to remind you again to click the link in the description below to check out the free training. I know where you are in your journey. I know that you're fed up with buying shiny objects and worthless OTOs over and over. If you have anything specific you want me to review, please leave a comment below and ask me. Also, if you got a lot of value from this review, then hit the subscribe button and ring the bell because I have a lot of free tutorials and make money online tips to share with you in the future. Then check out these videos next so you know where not to waste your hard-earned money on shiny objects. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you again in the next video.